Hey, this is Ned, this, uh, Ned McLaren. I am um, just actually just going off a little slight review of my game, Born Fighters. I created this game, or I was a better at release this game back in 09. It was actually a game that I wanted, it was something that I wanted to do for a long time, of just creating a game. Um, at that point, I never really had a background in, um, or knowledge in actually making a game, or even programming properly in Flash. I knew how to make websites and, you know, simple animations and so forth, but I really didn't grasp the idea of how to make a game. So, you know, you know when I actually took the helm and decided to make a game, it was kind of, it was quite difficult, you know, I learned a lot. Um, I broke a lot of, you know, rules, um, but in the end, I made something that I somewhat enjoyed. And looking back, you know, I just, I, I know I, be, I have learned and I, you know, know what, what to do and what not to do now in uh, game development. Okay, so basically I'm just going to run through a lot of little quick things. I'm not going to go in to totally in depth, but basically just to, you know, give someone who wanted to see just how I actually tackled the game and what the process I did. So, say for example, um, as you can see, this is in Ash Script 2, which was similar to similar to, from my perspective you know don't hit me if i'm wrong it was similar to uh java x script 3 though is actually is, is more adept that's the language that i'm actually learning right now so it can be more more profound even though flash in in general is somewhat dead in the water con con uh, next to html5 and so forth so anyway skipping past that who cares here we go Getting into the the realm of my game, um, I as I said, I broke a lot of rules. I did a lot of things wrong, but you know, in the end, I actually have a game that's working, fully working. Um, this right here actually is uh, the loader, one of the loaders for the characters. Pretty much, when you actually select a character, it actually injects the character after you press the start button. Here, um, I created. I went through a process of doing a lot of different things, like succeed the array I created here I no longer use. Um, I have another array running somewhere else, basically, which, be, which actually removes the characters after you press the button and so forth. Um, so I'm just going to just tidbit through little things that I did. That's that for that. And I, I did... I did so many different methods of actually programming. You know, it's, it's just... just it's just insane of how many things that I did. Um, let me just see here. Player one moves. Okay, since I'm just waiting. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to just jump into one of the characters right now just to show you something of what I did. Um, say, for example, uh, Lena here. Uh, I did all the sprite animation. This is not, rob this is not uh, um, rigged in any way. This is all drawn frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. Each frame, everything there, it's all frames. I'll even get into that right there. So it's frame by frame by frame. Yeah, most people say, oh, yes, you know, that's uh, the long way or the long method, but you know what? It was more fun to me doing it that way. Maybe one day I'll go deal with bones. I've done 3D animation, so I understand how bone structures work in 3D. But uh, in this, in this whole puppetry thing, I just, I like, for certain things, like the head, in certain areas, you notice I, I just use the same head over and over. But in certain areas, I actually just redrew the face, redrew the head. Because it was, to me, I just, I love the idea of actually drawing the characters all out. Uh, Alina was a very interesting character to create. Um, so was uh, Lint, which was the, the jump rope character. She's very interesting, especially the special moves, I think, were the big things that I enjoyed doing. Uh, especially her special move, which required, it was, a long, it was basically a long chain combo. Why did it jump back out? Anyway, yeah. Like, for example, if you're looking at her right now, that's her combo. And what did and what I created for as a hit parameter? If you actually look here, the blue represents the hits. So pretty much, that's where the damage is coming from. You won't be able. She's pretty much invincible right now. So considering that there's no nothing there for you to actually attack her, you're pretty much dead in the water when she's doing her special. 
but if she is, uh, say for example, just standing around, those are her hit parameters where you can actually hit her in the head, leg, and so forth. Uh, okay, and uh, what I also did too, so you just know, as an injector, this right here, this layer is basically the action hit host, basically controls the character's movements, also their damage parameters. So uh, if they were to, let's see, this would actually, this is the host, I call, I call this the host itself, let's see player one, host. What it does, it actually is what I'm targeting to load each of uh, the code that controls um, any of the actions or if I wanted to negate an action where they can't do any move I would actually remove the host or you know put it in cer a certain location where it would only be injected at that point like say for example if uh, it's a move where she has to jump I would, I would load a different host there's a regular host and then see player one mo move host and uh, player one jump host basically controls you if you're doing a jump attack, uh, let me just load up the game. Best to load it up so you can actually see what I'm referring to. Go to training. Let me go over to that character. And we'll just go against player 2. So for example, if she's just doing a jump, or if she's doing a jump attack, You know, it was very, you know, there was a lot of thought that went into actually doing this game. A lot of thoughts. And I think my second favorite character that I, I designed or I enjoyed designing was um, the ninja. You know, everybody wants a ninja. And, you know, his moves were just, you know, to me were just, to me, were cool. You know, I liked the idea of how I did his moves. Especially special, which was more like a spiritual thing. Anyway, get out of that. But um, but there are some so many different aspects, and there are a lot of little things too that I put in. Like for example, as you can see, there's only these little things here are where all the codes are being injected that are in the you know that, that are being active, like an active script. So when you got into playing with the character now, then you have more. I had more of these little lambs, I call them, and uh. In each of them, there there are so many different things that was going on. Um, this controls like the color variance of certain things. Um, this word here, this this injector here controls the characters moving back and forth, and also this actually controls what's going on up here. Like uh, what's where am I? Da, 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 da. Something I need to turn off monitor. Okay, okay. So either way. Um, what this what what this does it actually controls like game over state and so forth. There's a lot of different things happening that is is all over the place. But of course, I knew where they were. I could manage them. Uh, this is the hit test uh, parameter that deal, dealt with them turning back and forth. Like uh, basically, um, the x y x the negative x and positive x the flip states. And here we go. We have. Um, Basically, after the character dies, you could actually remove the remove, you know, the unnecessary character from off the screen. Okay, and this is for basically a secondary um, logic that actually checked to see if the key was down. And this pretty much was the master loader that loaded everything. You know, like it injected the uh, player one host into where it needs to go player uh, uh, the standing host S means standing uh, L means you know like kneeling or, or, or so forth MO is moving um, I forgot what that one referred to but it was some other host but that's act these, these are all the moves action one and two and three that means one is normally the, the lightest two is the medium and three is the hardest hits that normally would refer to the special 
and then this one is for like a jumping host um, if they're actually doing like a jump a regular jump that would actually control that parameter right there and uh, this one actually dealt with loading the different backgrounds so you have several different backgrounds that you can actually do from and it's the scale parameters and now this is a secondary injector that's dealt with removing things that's when I actually was loading up different uh, control states like if it was a, a virtual joypad for touch screens I, was try I tried a lot of different things it was this was a whole bag of experimentations and so forth and da, 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 this was these are pretty much my original build of characters that I used a long time ago and as you can see this is a dev checker when I was actually programming the game I had something that allowed me to check to see what the heck was going on so I can know if a character was hitting or not original thing that I did way back when yeah so many stuff okay yes you're seeing you're basically seeing all the wonderful little jizz jazz that I did okay there's something I wanted to show that's very cool to me anyway and uh, da, 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 da. hopefully I didn't kill it. Did I kill it? No, that's not a loader. New set. Okay. Okay, why well, I don't I can't find it. Character. Character makeup. Here we go. Yeah, but that's just for one thing. We are great. Can't find what I'm looking for. I guess I must have accidentally deleted it. Loader new set. Special sunscreen new set. This is so weird. That is so weird. Hmm. Oh, here we go. The code notes. Okay, so basically this is bas what controls everything in terms of uh, like the loaders. Um, I go into one of these right here. This will show you some really crazy jazz. Okay, so this is basically the breakdown of all the moves. So, if, for example, when I do one of the loaders, I would actually load in one of these things in one of the characters, and it actually controls all their move states. Like, for example, if you were to press, you know, key 87, which probably is, I don't know, I don't remember what that button is, it would actually do any one of their moves. And the same thing, too, you're going to the low actions, um, player moving, blah, 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 whatever that is, and... I did so many different things. I tried so many things. I broke so many rules. I made so many mistakes. But it was all in good fun. You know, I learned a lot. You know, this is my test logic for everything that I did. As as I said, in all good fun, you learn a lot of things. You have to break things to learn things. And, you know, that's just a basic part of programming. And um, it was just fun. You know, it was just seriously fun just learning and trying different things this basically is the, co the, the code that I created for the AI so if you actually look at this right here if you go to demo you know the game will play by itself because you know, I created a, a, a code that would just allow them to just randomly do their moves which is cool you know that's the same thing so if you're doing training you can actually select it you can go first AI so da -da -da. but um, that's all I'm gonna reserve that for right now if you know you want more details just hit me up and uh, have a good day